Hi friends, what's so This is our K-Phone 360 reader. It's time to learn how to listen to a Safari web page in iOS 17 on iPhone and iPad. Safari has got a number of pretty handy features in iOS 17. However, the one that has caught my eyes right from the word go is the ability to listen to a web page. Times when you may wish to give your eyes some rest without letting the guard down, this feature can come into play. That said, here is how you can listen to a Safari web page on your iPhone and iPad. First off, open the Safari app on your iPhone or iPad. Now head over to a web page that you would like to listen to. After that, make sure the web page you want to listen to is rich with text content or else the feature won't be accessible. When this web page loads up, tap on the action icon. And finally, choose listen to page in the menu and you are all set. Now go ahead and listen to the page to your heart's liking. It's worth pointing out that Safari will now make use of Siri to read out the content of the page. What's more, you can also adjust the audio by using the volume buttons on your iPhone or iPad. Note that you can follow the same steps to listen to more Safari web pages on your device. Now it's time to learn how to pause or resume listening to a web page in iOS 17 or later. You can easily pause the spoken audio at any time by tapping on the action icon on the tab bar and then selecting pause listening from the overflow menu. It will pause the reading session on your iPhone. To continue listening to the web page, tap on the action icon on the tab bar again and then select resume listening from the overflow menu. Safari will now resume the reading session from where you last paused it. It's worth pointing out that in addition to letting you pause and resume from within Safari, iOS will also show an audio interface right on the iPhone lock screen and notification center. This interface will be similar to the one you may see when music or media is played on other apps. When you start listening to a web page, this audio interface will show you the time elapsed and time remaining on either side of the audio playback bar. You can use the bar to manually go backward or forward during the listening session and that's pretty much it. So that's how you can listen to a Safari web page in iOS 17 on your iPhone and iPad. If you found this video helpful, do like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a good time. Bye bye.